Hello everybody, Scooter Plute here, and I would like to talk to you about Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, that's the first sort of like open world RPG type game that I played, and I really enjoyed it, but mostly because it was Lord of the Rings uh, lore and quests and characters and all sorts of fun stuff. I didn't really understand what I was doing, how to do anything, even the tutorials. And even still, I'm finding it difficult to uh, find out how to do certain things in the game and what keys do what. It's It doesn't have a very, like, the same kind of interface as WoW does, which is a lot easier to use, I think. But I'm still really enjoying it, and I think that WoW's taught me how to play it better. Um, but uh, the only downside is that now I'm playing two of these games. <laughs> and so it's uh, quite time-consuming, but it's really fun. So if you haven't tried it yet, you should, because it's free. I think uh, Turbine.com, you can download it. Um, of course, if you want to buy certain gear requests or whatever, it costs more. But I'm having plenty of fun with the free version. So check it out. It's a lot of fun. So would you rather have, as a gift, you don't owe anything for it, $100, $500, or $1,000? Just as a gift? Yep, as a gift. Straight up gift. The highest one. You would? Yeah. I would I would pick the middle one, because then it's not too much. Well, yeah, okay, I'll let it be. Okay, I will <laughs> ask... This is a trick question. I will ask the first clarifying question. <laughs> yeah. Who is this gift from? It's the first time you've ever asked, like, well, who's the genie? You know, <laughs> granting all these scenarios. Yeah, I feel like this is a trick, though. So who's it from? Like, if I pick the $100, the other 900 goes to, like... There's not another 900. Isis. All right, no, no. There's not another 900. Okay. It's either 100, or it's 500, or it's 1,000. All right. Given those options, I'm going to go with the 500, because it seems like a nice chunk from this unknown source, and I don't want to push the limits of things I don't know much about. $1,000. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, even if you picked less than 1,000... What if you picked a thousand and then gave the difference away as gifts to other people? You know, you can do whatever you want with you your money. You can do whatever you want with like, your money. If you're gonna pick less than a thousand, I would say maybe still pick a thousand, but then just give away. You the way can't you pick a thousand if you pick less than a thousand. Yeah, if you've picked five hundred, you've picked five hundred. Right. I'm just saying, like, can we yeah. kill something? Yeah, right, right, right. There's a mana table right behind you. Oh, mana you know me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. This is kind of like a would you rather, but it's which one do you think would be most effective? A dungeon being run by five healers, five tanks, or five DPS? Five healers all day. Healers is the most effective class. It would take longer, but it, they would do it every time. Can DPS people heal as well, some of them? Oh. They can heal themselves. And some of them have more healing capabilities. Whoa, that axe is kind of neat. That axe? Yeah, that axe, though. That axe, though. But the spirit of the question is, like, which role do you think would have the best shot? Um, I, when I, my main, when I played before, was a mage. And I got a kick out of um, running dungeons as two or three of us, two or three mages, mm -hmm. um, because we could just burn everything down to the ground. Mm. So I, I, I kind of feel like um, depending on the DPS class, if I could get five frost mages, mm -hmm. I think that, that would probably be. Good. And you, you can still eat between mobs. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So well, we you, gotta get we gotta get the mana storm guy. Healing isn't a significant advantage if you're able to eat food or do first aid to heal. Well, it is if you would die in the fight. Oh, okay, okay. mid fight. Yeah, yeah like. At first, I think, well, healers, because they wouldn't die, but then, you know, there might be one encounter where... You need like, to kill something? Yeah, like, you need to kill those chains in that one dungeon, or else he explodes on you. Like, what if the healers just couldn't kill the chains or something? I don't know. Then again, Breadbreaker can dish out the damage. Sure, with bread. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. He can beat me in a duel. Ditto. You have to be convicted of a felony, but you get to pick what it is. I mean, most felons get to do that. But. <laughs> I'm not sure what constitutes a felony. It's a really bad crime. I'm not. If it's not technically a, a felony, that's fine. But. Oh yeah, I'll do the uh, 
I'll do the theft over $150 or whatever. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> that seems harmless. What would you take, though? Probably snacks. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make multiple trips or like just have a big bag with you? No, I'm gonna get that quality hummus. <laughs> it's, a really, it's a really nice trinket. I think it'd be kind of cool if, if like I have felony charges associated with just driving my vehicle too fast. Oh. I'm going so what? fast over the speed limit that I'm reckless driving. Yeah, reckless driving to the. <laughs> but I mean, I was in control of the vehicle the whole time. But but. I... I wouldn't I, mind. It's just against the law. I wouldn't mind it for assault. If I, <laughs> <laughs> if I was really convicted about what it was over. But like for you to get charged with it, you'd be like in the wrong, like beating someone up. Not necessarily. Or you're, like you're not necessarily in the wrong just because you're convicted of a crime. But say it's self defense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's something else too. Is that we're not making. No, it wouldn't be self defense. It would be like defense of someone else. Oh. Selfless defense. Selfless defense. Wait, no bail. I think I want to change mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to fight somebody my... with Caleb. No, uh, I would want to be like some sort of whistleblower, you know, like oh, uncover yeah. something horrible. <laughs> so like you breached a confidentiality contract or something? Did, yeah. Did or Edward like, Snowden? Um, did, like did he? Is he caught with it? Like, is he has a felony? Sorry, I, I can't speak. So. But like. That's why he can't. That's why he's in another country right now. He doesn't want to face one of the charges, is, right? Because isn't he? Was he treason? Yeah, treason's is, like is that his charge? That's Probably pretty epic. Though. Yeah, treason's pretty huge. You know, yeah, it's the biggest. Treason, right? you, you still die for that, I think. I think. Or you go to Guantan. Also, it's like pretty hard to to th- even imagine yourself in a situation where the right thing is to. I don't know. For me, at least, like. I feel like I'm so I'm pretty patriotic, both the England where I'm from and the U.S. where my family chose to live. To think that the best thing is like against, I don't know. Watch out for the rocks. Don't stand on the shadows. What you're saying is you're a patriot and a maverick. Maybe, <laughs> but it's just it's hard to think like that. mavericks don't say maybe. <laughs> and I think that I'd like to have a like a Grand Theft Auto scenario. Uh, like steal a car in in a hurry because I need to get somewhere. You're standing up. Yeah. So, so so I have to steal the car by breaking a window with my elbow, mm-hmm. and then I have to drive it really fast in order to get somewhere and save or do something. Like it might be cool to like if you like in that same scenario to have like family level. Destruction of property, or like you know, like because explosions would naturally happen. Sure. While you're saving the day. Yeah. But those weren't leather. Those would be awesome. Damn epic. Ugh. That's that's what would have dropped the dragon. Slab hide. He would have dropped the mount. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes, like in that one instance, the right. eye. It's like the final boss, even though it looks like one of the other bosses. I have my answer. What is it? Maybe? I would like to. Uh, what's that thing where you para parasailing, glider, paraglider? Mm-hmm. I would like to do that off of a, a building. You want a base jump? Oh, well, not quite base jumping. But with with hang glider. Hang gliding? Hang glider. Yeah, I'd like to hang glide off of a building into some kind of water body of water in a big city. So it's like extreme trespassing. With, with the crowd, so like, you know, the public's like, oh, cool, that's extreme, but the city's like, we can't have that, and we have to throw the book at this guy, so <laughs> yeah. it doesn't happen We're going to make an example of you. You're right. The sentry saw I... us and ran away, so we're going to probably get some more enemies. Okay. Not to break up the talking. Right, well, just, so that never happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, God, I was going to say now. Soon yeah. I'll remember everything. I'm the worst! <laughs> Caleb is the birth. You heard it here first, folks. I was hoping that you'd defend me against myself. So, I would totally be trending. You said uh, trespassing was your deal? <laughs> yeah, extreme trespassing. Epic. Just making sure that I heard that correctly. And, like, public endangering the public. <laughs> what are you going to do with this hang glider? Just fly over people. I don't know if that's endangering fly the public. Fly over them while peeing. No, I wouldn't pee. That's like assault. That's that's your boat. <laughs> yeah, that's how Caleb's gonna assault somebody who's peeing on him. I don't think that counts as assault. Oh, they they figure out a lot of stuff. Public like urination. It, I mean, it is salty. 
Maybe that's technically <laughs> trespassing as well. Here's a classic would you rather. Would you rather be the worst player on the best team or the best player on the worst team? Hmm. Oh. Man. It's a Jeremy. I know I would rather be the worst player on the best team because then there's still room to learn. Like learning from the best? Yeah. Look, I love winning. <laughs> so. But I also love being the best. I would like to be the best player on the worst team because, and we're, I'm assuming thinking basketball in this answer, I like scoring points. <laughs> and if you're the worst player, there's a good chance you're not even going to be in the game. So, there. Yeah, you are the Adam Morrison on the Lakers team that wins the championship. You're the guy who steals the high five and grows a slimy mustache. <laughs> I don't understand who he is. The yeah, he is can't, like, you can't win the championship, though, because you're on the worst team. No, no, no. But if you're the worst player on the best team, oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. So I would not want to be the Adam Morrison. <laughs> I would much rather be the, I don't know. But that's the thing. Ichiro. Is that, well, the, yeah, each of <laughs> Sure, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, right? It's like the best player on the worst team. Well, the best player is the best player because they make the players around them better. Yeah. Assists. Oh. Can we get uh, some buffs? Oh, Breadbreaker's not here. Yet. Almost there. There wasn't there a portal, was there? Yeah, there, there was. And there's a mana table for you when you get here. Mana table for you. F. I would, uh, I would want to be the worst player on the best team for the same reason as Cecily. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it nice? I think I'm at a point in my life where I, I want to want to be the worst player. I mean, the best player on the worst team. The worst player on the best team. I don't remember. That one. That's the one I want to want, but I don't want that. I think I should want that, and I don't. Hmm. Like, so you're choosing... Yeah, I'm choosing the immature one. I'm the like, best player, being on, the best player on the worst team. Like, I just want to be hailed. Yeah. <laughs> right. To have people pat you on the back and be like, right. if Good only job. you had a talent around you, yeah. <laughs> you'd win a championship. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know... Blame the... everybody else for my problems. Yeah, yeah. I want to be that guy. <laughs> like the, the goldfish will only grow as large as its bowl. Exactly. And I like a small bowl. <laughs>